It was a hot dog that earned us the number one spot on that list. Or rather, the winning strategy that it gave birth to. Unreasonable hospitality. The principle that guided us as we took ordinary transactions and turned them into extraordinary experiences. Relax. Chef. Go. Guest on nine, Emily overheard her tell her family that she was bummed that she was leaving Chicago without getting a chance to try deep dish. Got it. Thank you. Slow down, eight and nine. Surprise on nine. What's the surprise? Big wild guess. You're going to make them deep dish? Nope. I found myself clearing appetizers from a table of four foodies on vacation to New York. I overheard them talking. What an amazing trip. We've been to all the best restaurants. Then another person jumped in. Yeah, but the only thing we didn't get to try was a New York City hot dog. You know those moments in a cartoon where the animated light bulb goes <laughs> off? If you'd been in the room with me that day, you would have seen one appear over mine. As calmly as I possibly could, I walked gracefully back into the kitchen, dropped off the plates, and then literally ran out the front door and down the block to the hot dog cart. I bought a hot dog and ran just as fast back into the kitchen. Corner. Behind. 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 Corner. Now came the hard part. Convincing the chef to serve it <laughs> in our fancy fine dining restaurant. Guys, he looked at me like I'd lost my mind. Serving what New Yorkers call a dirty water dog in a fancy four-star restaurant, but I asked him to trust me, and I told him it was important to me. And eventually, he agreed to cut the hot dog up into four perfect pieces, adding a little swish of ketchup and a swish of mustard on <laughs> each plate, and finishing them with a canel of sauerkraut and a canel of relish. Then we brought them their hot dog. I introduced it. To make sure you don't go home with any culinary regrets, a New York City hot dog. Guys, they freaked out. <laughs> oh my God, you all are wonderful. No, stop it, you're wonderful. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. And I can confidently say that no one had ever reacted to anything I served them better than they reacted to that hot dog. Each person said it was not only the highlight of their meal, but of their entire trip to New York. And they'd be telling the story for the rest of their lives. That in restaurants, our reason for being is to make people feel seen. It's to make them feel welcome. It's to give them a sense of belonging. See, in restaurants, the food, the service, the design, they're simply ingredients in the recipe of human connection. That is hospitality. And I realized if we could be unreasonable in our pursuit of that, we could give people the kind of experiences they would remember forever. It was only then that I realized I wasn't actually in the business of serving people dinner. I was in the business of serving them memories. Vayner Speakers.